Hey friends, Mark Holmes here with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo, and as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, and subscribing to the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, man, we know this does not work without you guys, so we'll never even think about life without you guys, because I'm so happy that I have each and every one of you guys. We have some good news, I believe, I guess it's how the way you look at it. Um, Zach Martin, who did everything yesterday in practice, which is great news when you consider seeing him being helped off the field, knowing that he's been playing with a sprained knee all season long, he will be a game-time decision. Um, that bodes well for the team because if we can get him back, make no mistake, our offensive line has been in flux. It's a big difference of having Zach Martin in there versus not having Zach Martin if he is good to go. So hopefully, you know, he'll be ready to rock and roll. If not, at least we know he's getting close. So this is one of those situations, much like I kind of said with Tyron Smith, if you're not sure that he is really not going to hurt himself, if he's not if he's not really ready to go, you're better off just saying, you know what, let's wait. Because I know we want to win this game and get it out of the way. I know he wants to play and stuff. But sometimes as a football player, you have this warrior mentality that you never, ever not want to play. No matter how bad you may be banged up, coach, I can still go. And that's great, you know, to have that attitude, that mentality and stuff. But sometimes you can become your own worst enemy. And, you know, you go out there and then all of a sudden you get hurt worse when we're going to really need you because we're really going to need you in that first playoff game, without a doubt. But hopefully he is closer to being really ready to go than kind of just taking the chance with that stuff. Um, that's where football is... It's crazy because you're always one play away from being hurt and out of a game. So hopefully we'll get that straight. Today, um, thank everybody for all the well wishes and things like that. I know you've seen me in the hospital bed and everything else, but that was because I was getting a colonoscopy, and I'm glad that I, I put that out there um, not for sympathy, but as an awareness thing. It's eye-catching. You're sitting there like, what the hell is wrong with you? Um, colon cancer... There aren't signs. It's not like lung cancer where you get influenza and you start feeling it. Colon cancer, the only way to find out about it is from a colonoscopy. And, you know, you don't think about it, and it's one of those things that if you find it in other ways, it's too late. So I put that out there hoping that all of you, and we know we got some other people here that are my age, go out and get this thing checked out because it's really, really important. Uh, fortunately, this time they only found one polyp. Uh, last time they had six. Had I not gone then and I'm sitting here, I, well, I might not be sitting here right now. That's how serious it is. So go get that thing checked. And, you know, if you're not quite feeling it, if something doesn't feel right, go to the doctor to make sure. Because sometimes it may be a shot or a pill or something like that is all it's going to take to make you better. But you don't go, then all of a sudden it's something major. So... Good news again on Zach Martin that he's getting closer to being able to play. We'll find out Sunday at game time if he's ready to roll. I'm Mark Holmes with Cowboy Joe Boo, and I'll see you guys soon.